Okay, y'all, right here I got one of those little wood rounds from the Dollar Tree my best good friend Brenda sent to me. And I painted it in that cottage white by Folk Art. And um, I'm giving it a coat of Mod Podge right here. And I'm going to set it aside to dry. Now, Miss Jarvelin Barnes sent me that cute little home sweet home. Um, it was from the Dollar Tree also. So, I painted the outside with the cottage white. And I painted home and home in black chalk paint. And make sure you get your edges. It just looks nicer. And then Miss Wanda Cruz sent me this beautiful napkin. I love it with little bees on it. And y'all ask how I remove my plies. I already took a piece of tape, and I got that first one. And with that same piece of tape, what's left over, I just lay it on the back of the napkin and just, like, tip up the corner and just pull. Yeah, I don't know. Can't explain it. Anyway, so I'm going to take an iron um, with parchment paper, my little uh, napkin there, and try to go from the inside out make sure you get your edges. And I cut off around the edge first because I want to, like, save as much of that napkin as I can. And then I'm just going to take my little zip finger sander, which is in my description box, you guys, and um, sand the rest of it off. had a hard time finding them holes. So I just took my lighter. I went to the back and burnt, and it burnt through and burnt the napkin. And then you don't have that little extra stuff, like, stuck in your hole. You know what I mean? It kind of burnt my wood. But that lighter's insane. All lighters won't do that. Anyway, and I'm going to take dishwasher safe Mod Podge and cover it. And then um, here I'm going to take that um, summer porch and paint the word sweet yellow. I'm going so fast here y'all can't keep up with myself. Okay, I'm sorry y'all. I'm going to try to slow that down some. Gee whiz. So there you see I got beads. And um, I did like um, black, white, yellow, white, and then natural. And I did it both sides. And I'm going to take Aileen's Tacky Glue and glue my little thing down. Now, see, I'm doing it again. Um, anyway, I didn't use, I put little clips on it. I didn't, like, um, use any hot glue on it. And I let it dry overnight. And then right here, I'm just taking my fine tip Sharpie. <coughs> but I end up taking my bigger Sharpie later and just going around the whole edge. So, because you just can't see that word sweet. Okay, I know the sound's going to be crazy. My voice is going to be different. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to take those leaves. I save leaves, and I'm going to glue one on each side, and I try to slow a lot of this down, you guys, And because um, I want to see green because it is spring. And I'm going to take uh, some of that heather pick, and I'm going to put little, pretty little, like, yellow, you know what I'm saying. You see me. Uh, little flowers on there. And then, um, yeah, I didn't want it to go this slow. Ah. Anyway, okay, so I just cut up a bunch of ribbon. I cut it approximately, because I only do approximately um, four inches, maybe some of it's five. But I'm going to dovetail all the ends of it, even the skinny ribbon, except for that trim right there. I'm just going to cut it at an angle. And then I like to mix mine up like that, because I don't want it to be, uh, yeah, I want, yeah. So, I lay down one straight across, and then I make an X, and then straight across and make an X, and I just keep doing that, grabbing ribbon, piling it on top of itself. Um, a lot of y'all's been asking about my bows, and here's one. I made a bow video, but I think I need to do an updated one. But anyway, y'all saw what I did there, and then um, I take a wire tie, and I put it down on the middle. Yeah. I used to um, put it in the center, uh, on the, yeah, it doesn't matter. And I tie, I don't pull it all the way tight. I pull it, but then I flip my ribbon around, I'm mainly when it's short like that. And then I make sure it's in the center, you know, well, as close as it can be. And then I tie it. And then I floof it out. And that's it for that. It's so cute. And then I'm going to take these little teeny tiny bees. I got these from Amazon two years ago, guys. And I'm going to glue them, hot glue them all over my sign. But see where I took a permanent marker and went heavily around my, uh, the word sweet? Yeah. And now we're going to hot glue that bow on. And then I'm going to hold it there a minute because that bow's heavy. And then I'm going to take and hot glue um, a little bee in the center of my bow, y'all. And here it is. And I think it is just straight adorable. I think it looks old, like 50s. I hate to say that because some of y'all is like, the 50s ain't old. But that's not what I mean. But you know what I'm saying? It looks timed because of the 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 gingham pattern. And I just, I don't know. I just love it. And the colors, I just love it. 
Today I'm participating in the Spring Deco Posh Party hosted by Miss May from Craft Away with May, Elsie Ower, um, and more, Laura's Craft Room, Lady Red Crafting is Katie, and my best friend Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIYs, and the sweet Miss Jenny from Lovely Moments Creating, and of course me. And y'all go check out these ladies. I'll have the link in my description box below. Okay, y'all, right here I got one of those bunny rabbit signs from Dollar Tree, and I actually started tearing it up before I even showed y'all what it was. But I do spray mine with water, and I take that razor scraper I got from Timu, and you can get them off Amazon too, you guys, and I scrape that nasty glue off in the paper. And we're going to take a piece of um, paint, painter's tape, and I'm going to paint that bottom half in cashew. And then I, I got these new brushes, y'all, from... Uh, anyway, so... um. And then I'm going to take that painter's tape and I'm going to paint the top part of it in Tuscan teal. That's apple barrel. It's beautiful. And then Miss Valerie Allison sent me that napkin, y'all. Look at it. And again, I put the tape on and I pulled it off. This one had only, I think it had two plies and the original, the one had fallen off. And then I'm just going to take Coat of Mod Podge. And I had to iron out my napkin because it had some crinkles in it. And um, you can do it. Just be gentle. Don't press too hard. And anyway... Oh, and then I'm going to lay it down on my, there, and take, put down a piece of parchment paper like I did last time and work myself from the inside out, making sure I get the edges. And then I'm going to take those sticks. Look, <clears throat> Wanda sent them to me, the Ugly Truth Girls sent them to me, Miss Rose Turner sent them to me, and Rose got me more. She sent me a new box, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I'll show it next video. But anyway, after I take Waverly Antique Wax and... Uh, yeah, stain them, but not the back because I'm going to be gluing them. I take my little shears and I cut them at a cut them at a 45 degree angle because I'm going to make a little picture frame to go around my, oh my goodness, core. Yes, I love this. My dad's going to love this, I'm telling you. And I love the colors together, you guys. It just like, oh, anyway. So, sorry, I'm um, getting excited. And, and that one I just lay down there and just line it up with the inside piece. And you cut up at an angle, so that's how you're going to get it fitted on there. And then I'm going to take Aileen's Tacky Glue. Of course, you all know me and the Aileen's. And I'm going to glue my frame on it. And then I set it aside. I set a piece of wood on it and then set more wood on top of it. And it moved. <sighs> so it got crooked. But that's okay. So and then I'm just going to take that last one there because I did stain five of them. And I'm going to put it right there. Yeah, um, and I just use hot glue, guys, because I'm like, I was running out of time, and I'm probably going to be late. And then I drew my holes bigger because I want to take that nautical rope and tie knots in the front. I just thought that suited that little picture or chain, and I just didn't want to feel like digging out chains because you guys still, I'm in disarray. Anyway, and y'all see what I did there. And then I'm going to take that beautiful flower that I used in that three-cross thing. Um... Uh, I got the original. I need your email address, honey, if you want to still buy that. But anyway, and I glue the leaves down to it and glue it down there. Uh, and then I take those turquoise, I don't know what color, we'll say teal, daisies and put one on each side. That's what they said they were, is daisies. And then I take, um, oh, well, I got to put one on each side first. And then I take these little keys from those, um, that MDF, those um, laser cut MDF, yeah. And two different little keys. I don't know why I thought it suited it. And that one I hot glued down the back and laid it, laid the jute on there. And then the other one I ran it through because it had a place to run through the hole. That original one didn't there. And I just tie them up. Nair, nair. I tied up around my knot and see how far down I want them to hang. And I just, um, yeah. And I love this, y'all. I love this. I did not put a coat of Mod Podge over that. I just, I don't know. I just thought it... I know I need to, but I just, I liked it like that. And look at that. Look at those colors together, you guys. <gasps> Be still my heart. I hope y'all like it as much as I do. <laughs> Thanks, Valerie. And okay, right here, I got two of those jar things from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take a, it's like a nail. And I'm going to pound holes in top of my little lids. Um, in both of them, yeah. And then I'm going to take, of course, the screws that came with those little knobs. And um, I'm going to take a nut and... No, I'm not. I'm going to take a washer and that thing, that little wheel. It's like you wood wheels you craft with. People who make little cores. And I got a bunch of them at a 
flea market one time. So I just want to stabilize that. And plus, it, you know, the screw's really long and I want to make sure. Anyway, so I screw them on. And then I'm going to clean my little jars with, um, look, perfect. You can just set them down on there. You can screw them on and look, they're good. I even unscrewed it. Rose, that's one of the things she sent me, you guys. Oh, I know some of y'all don't like hauling cow, but I got to. These are going in my bathroom for cotton balls and Q-tips. I still need to make tags for them. But anyway, I started tearing them out. And look, that mama and that baby. And I wanted them both on, on one jar and they just wouldn't fit. So I had to go around the mama with water and um, cut her out. Oh, sorry, mama. Anyway, and that's what I did. I just used water and I tore it away. Um, just be gentle. And I'm going to take dishwasher safe Mod Podge and put it on my jar I know it's right up close to me, and my camera angle was terrible. But um, we'll get it, guys. We'll get used to everything going on. And I lay my napkin down there, and um, I then I do the other half. Yeah, um, the bottom part. I do it in sections because I don't want wrinkles in it. I know sometimes I don't mind, but I didn't want them in there this time. Those um, watercolor napkins are just, I don't know. And then I take my saran wrap and put it on my jawer. And I just rub it in real good and rub all the wrinkles out of it. Y'all flawless. This is flawless. But when I was painting the jars, I gave them three coats of uh, Rust-Oleum Linen White Chop Paint. I literally dropped one and scuffed it up, so I had to go over and paint it. And you know how it's got spaces in it? Yeah, that's just how, how my days went. But that one, look. Oh, no. <laughs> and I just put flowers on the back of that one because he was big. And then that one, I did the little uh, bull on both sides. Ah, uh, look. Boy, I know, you guys, look, and I, I just set them on those little, um, one's a candle riser, and one is for, um, like, little tarts and cupcakes and stuff, and I was wondering if I should put them on those and, like, paint them. Tell me what y'all think, but I like the nickel lid because, you know, the faucets and everything, my bathroom's nickel, but I don't know, you guys, so I just know that I love them. Tell me if I should put them on, you know, okay, right here. Okay, Miss Brenda sent me that, my best friend, sent me that beehive, and I didn't want to use it because I wanted to use it for other things, and then Rose sent me one too, so I was like, well, I mean, I'd already done this though, and Brenda sent me that burlap, oh, she loves me, and then what I'm going to do is like, I'm, I trace out the <clears throat> entire thing, only because I didn't know if I had to or not, <laughs> being honest, and, um, but you don't have to. So, I'm going to cut this off like every other, like, y'all will see. So, that, um, there, I want that piece. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to skip one. And then I want that piece. You know what I mean? And then I'm going to skip one and I want that piece. And here I'm just like spritzing them with a little bit of water to get the wrinkles out of them because I was too lazy to iron, honestly. And then, so, um, Brenda sent me that pokey dotted ribbon. You guys, this one's different, but I ended up loving it. I just, I don't even know. Huh. And so, um, because at first I had plans to do one thing and it went awry, so here we go. And then on that one, I'm doing the opposite, you know. Yeah, you see. And I have these, um, canvases that I take off these frames, of course. And, uh, I think I'm going to need that biggest giant one. That's the one that came from, um... Uh, Five Below that I just did that, uh, then sings my soul picture with. But I'm going to lay my pieces down here. And I know you're like, those look absolutely terrible. Well, just give me a minute. It takes a minute sometimes. And I was like, how did that thing lay? I need to get that. And then I just, yeah, there you go. Lay your reform down there and make sure you get it right. And then I'm going to take Aileen's Tacky Glue. And that first one I did like that. That was silly. And then the second one I didn't do so bright either. I put glue on the burlap. And I'm like, what am I doing? So then I'm like, here we go. I just put the uh, glue on the inside of the frame where it laid. And then put my burlap there. I think I did. Yeah. There we go. Got the Joe. Get some sense to you. And then I just put, yeah. And that way I could keep the that shape. You know what I mean? Okay. When I get it all done. I'm and it dries. I'm no, it's not dry. I lied. I'm gonna take that nautical rope and I'm gonna take the Aileen's tacky glue steel and I'm gonna go all around the edge of my beehive and make sure that I push it into the shape of the beehive. You know what I mean? Try to go the exact same 
pattern that they have. And then um, when I come to the end there, and I'm just going to wrap that through. Yep, glue that down. And then I have to start cutting pieces. To, I couldn't figure out how to do it all in one big swoop. But um, it didn't. You only need that one thing, a nautical rope, and you still have a little bit left. But anyway, I doubt anybody will recreate this, but if you do, please send me a picture because I love it. Okay, and I put clips on it to help that rope stay in place, and I laid the, the wreath form down on it and then clipped it. And then um, when it dried, I let it dry overnight, I cut off those ugly edges and... Um, then I burnt the hairs off of it. And then I'm going to take that uh, rope from the Walmart, that jute twine, the big thick one that I always use, and I'm going to put it on the inside there. You see, all the way around the circle. I don't know. I don't know why I'm going. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing. And I push it down real good and go real slow so y'all can see that. I don't know. <laughs> I wanted it to look like perfect to the exact shape of the thing you know what I mean so I was going kind of like slow doing it anyway and then I do it on the outside and I take it four times around the outside keeping with the shape of that beehive I think it's so cute <laughs> anyway four times I surely I didn't show you all four times of me wrapping it and I just use hot glue then. I'd rather use Aileen's, but I was running out of time, y'all. I double booked myself, and it's not good. I don't normally do that. So, anyway, when it comes to the end, I just stopped where I began. And then I'm burning more fuzz off. And I actually am trying to darken my rope um, by burning it. And I took those scissors. I got those from the Dollar Tree, y'all. Don't use those. If, it, I thought I had a good idea and it was going to be cute, and it just it didn't. It didn't work out that great. And I wanted my, my canvas there to be shape of a honey pot, and it just, yeah, it didn't work out. But anyway, I'm going to take a dowel rod. I got this from a Dollar Tree, two in a pack, and I'm going to glue. I'm not gluing my dowel rod to it, but I glue the thing to the back of itself. You know what I mean. And then I'm going to take a um, one of those tags from Christmas and yeah, trace it and cut it out. And then I'll take that calendar picture from 2023 calendars and I lay my, my canvas on that and trace it out. Not the tag because I know I've cut the canvas crooked and I want my calendar to be as close to my, yeah, as possible. And then I did cut that down because I thought it was too long. And then I'm taking um, glue, um, the glue stick, y'all, and glued my... Yeah, that to it. And then I'm going to take that jute twine and go around the outside of my tag. And then I'm going to take and make a go around my little hole. I did punch a little hole in it with a hole punch. And I'm going to take the jute and go around my... I know, I'm so extra. Sorry, you guys. I can't help myself. And um, I'm just trying to get it in a little round shape right there with that glue gun. And then I'm going to run my jute in there, that big, thick jute from Walmart still. And then I'm going to take vintage mustard, and I'm just going to, like, messily paint the canvas, the front and the back. And then I take my tag there, and I tie a knot in it, and um, I come cut off the end, and I'm going to hot glue it right there and up in that corner, and I'm going to push it up in there. If you could, if you knew this before you did the whole thing, you could tuck it underneath the jute, but, yeah, you know. Well, you guys still can tuck it under, like, the small jute. If you recreate it. But anyway. And then I'm going to take that little honey dipper. And I take smaller jute. Because the big just was. It just wasn't. You know, yeah, I just have a struggle. On a struggle bus y'all. And I'm going to put a knot in it. And I'm going to hot glue it. Like um, I'm going to attach it to that one. I'm going to call them rungs. Okay. To the beehive. And, and I hot glue it there. And then I actually take and hot glue it. See, I go up over that nautical rope, gluing it to the nautical rope and stuff, too, and then tucking it up underneath there when I'm done. Because if I hang this outside, I don't want it to get ruined. I am going to spray it. Um, but anyway, and then I'm going to take my, my jute and tie knots on the ends, double knots on the ends of my um, dowel rod there. And then I'm going to take white, um, Waverly White chalk paint, and I'm going to go right around the edge and right, like, close up, right against the because i want it to like pop you know what i mean like and here it is you guys and i think it's so cute <gasps> i don't know i hope y'all like this because 
I really do like this. And I know I'm weird and it's different, but I think it's cute. It's a little flag or, or banner piece or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. Okay. This I got from the Hobby Lobby for $2.24 because it was upside down. And, um... It had a little spot on it that looked like nail polish. And I tried everything to get it off. Scraper, uh, sanding, uh, everything. And I tried to sand that down. And not that didn't work so great either. It was not coming off. But anyway, so, well, I don't know what I'm doing here, y'all. So, Miss Christine Carter got me this little knife, knife kit, y'all. And look at this blade. I don't use it. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to break it or something, but whatever i know but look at that thing it's flat and it's just like sharp on one side and it's flat on the other side but that right look that's the only thing that got that all fair i'm gonna be using that thing a lot more you guys anyway i got that pretty napkin from amazon and i'm just gonna rip around the edges and you guys i think that whole pack i got a whole pack of them i think it was only like 5.97 anyway Never done this before. See, we're supposed to use, um, um, it's to decoupage things. And we're supposed to use an item that's not a napkin, which my canvas and all that stuff was not. And, um, some other kind of, um, I know, I can't even think that, I'm telling you why. I just, I've lost it, you guys. Something else other than Mod Podge to, um, yeah, put your stuff together, you know, like I'm doing there with the glue stick. And I've seen a ton, ton of people do that before with napkins, and I was terrified, you guys. I was like, oh, no. And I kept putting it on crooked, and finally I was like, oh, I got it. It is still crooked as a dog's hind leg. Anyway, and I'm going to take that rub and buff, and listen, it's rub and buff for a reason. If you accidentally do something, you can't wipe it off. It's on there, you know. It's it's on there. And I painted that bead um, with the It's the Black. And then um, I'm, like, doing distressing around it. I wish I would have left it alone. Um, and then I make, like, shiplap-looking ship lines. Woo-wee. Um, across it. But I do wish I left it wide. I mean, I like it like this. It's cute. But anyway, whatever. I'm going to take that gold rub and buff, and I'm going to, like, try to make it look all vintagey and old and, you know, all that jazz. I don't know. When I think of bees, that's what I think of old and all that jazz and anyway um so i just take my finger and rub that gold in it's called vintage gold and then um i take some uh, lavender there six little tiny pieces i'll pick and i take that gingham ribbon and i wrap them together like three on each side mm. i need a drink y'all y'all know i'm forever thirsty and then i'm gonna hot glue it down there and i made a little gingham bow and put it on there too but that tassel just kept making it look boho-y. And uh, I know that's not a word. And I just didn't like it, so I pulled it off. And here it is, you guys. And what I think I might do is take that top piece off, put something on the back also, and make the bead of tassel with that. Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. Here's everything, you guys. I cannot believe it's over already. I hope you all enjoyed the video, which you probably didn't because... Um, well, I don't know. That's very pretty. Um, I don't know. I feel like it just was my typical thing. And, and you feel like out of sorts because you're not doing, you know what I mean? Your flow. Like, you, there, you have to do certain things. And I get like, I, I'm crazy, you guys. I'm crazy. But I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And thank you so much for being here. And I hope y'all do like the stuff. And y'all just mean the world to me. And y'all is just so good to me. I, I got the best subscribers ever. I truly do. And I just, I really, really love you all. And I have a video on Sunday. It's the What Would You Make Challenge. I'm the co-host. So y'all come and check me out then. I love you. Bye.